So I messed up. What'd you do? I almost ruined my favorite electric guitar, this Silver Sky that I am holding right here. You can see it's in one piece still, so it wasn't something catastrophic. Well, it could have been, I suppose, but uh, I caught it in time. And I am here to tell you and educate you, if you are a guitar player, about something that I was not aware of. Now that I've researched it, it's actually common knowledge if you're dealing with a certain type of guitar, and we'll get to that in a second. But I didn't know, and I am here to hopefully prevent disaster for you, just like uh, I wish I could have done for myself. So what happened was, as I was playing, I filmed a bunch of videos over the last short bit here, and this was not one of the videos I obviously planned on making and posting, but I've been doing a lot of moving stuff around in the studio, and this guitar ended up on a stand that I normally don't use. It's an old Fender folding stand. It's really meant for an acoustic guitar, actually. Uh, it, very convenient, by the way. Very tiny, fits in a bag. I mean, it's, it's small, it's awesome. But I threw the Silver Sky on there because I was shuffling things around and I left it for a couple days. And then I came back down today and I grabbed the Silver Sky. I looked at the back of the guitar and it was covered in this grayish, black, awful looking, just like someone drove over it almost or stopped on it with a with a, a, a shoe that would leave, you know, marks on a gym floor or something. And I'm like, what is going on with this? Immediately I'm thinking, okay, was I wearing a shirt that was like new and just kind of the dye was bleeding off under the back of this thing? And all of a sudden I remembered scrolling through Reddit and I saw a post and it was from somebody who said, hey, so-and-so who makes these guitar stands so much for being safe for this type of finish. And as soon as I saw my guitar, I looked over at the stand and something clicked and I realized what I had done. So let me back up for just a second here. When the Silver Sky was designed, if you've been following along on my channel, if you're a guitar player, if you're a John Mayer fan, even, and you don't play guitar, you know that this guitar was very significant when it came on the scene in the Mayer world. The Silver Sky aimed to be a step forward, an update to the Fender Stratocaster that so many people have been associated with, to include John Mayer. And when Mayer decided he wanted to design a guitar, a signature guitar, he wanted to push things forward. He wanted to take colors from Tesla and fly them to guitars. He wanted to update the Strat. He even changed the direction of the headstock that Paul Reed Smith has used for years. But one thing that they did not change is the finish on the guitar. This guitar was, in a lot of ways, modeled after Mayer's 64 Strat. And that guitar, as well as many others in that era, was finished with a type of lacquer called nitrocellulose. Now this finish was something that came from the car industry actually, as did many things that got applied to musical instruments back in the 50s and 60s. So one of the reasons why people tend to stick with nitro finishes on guitars are that they're thinner and they're more breathable. And you know, we're dealing with a piece of wood here. Yes, it's a solid body electric guitar, but when you encase a piece of wood in thick lacquer, I, you, I mean, it's basically turning the guitar into a piece of plastic that has a wooden core. Certainly you can feel that on necks and everything else. Well, my guitar was built in September of 2020. Now, when the Silver Skies first came out, they were built with a poly finish. At some point, I don't really know when, neither does the internet, Sometime in late 2019, early 2020, they switched over to a nitro finish. Now this is just one of the many things that has changed over the production life of this guitar as Mayer has made updates and tweaks to his own guitars. Pickups have changed, the neck shape has changed a little bit, things like that. And it's not really well documented on the website. It's kind of, you know, it's not secretive, but it's definitely not broadcast out there. Now the finish was part of that as well. The neck has always been a nitro finish, but the body became a nitro finish in 2020 definitely before my guitar was made because I can tell you I figured this out the wrong way sometimes what happens when you put a guitar on a stand that has foam or plastic or something like that sometimes what can happen is this finish will start to react with that other surface this is something unique to nitrocellulose guitars I did not know this before. I 
didn't think anything of it. I threw the guitar on the stand. A couple days went by. I was playing other guitars. I was doing tons of editing. Then I went to pick it up and I realized something had gone terribly wrong. So luckily though, luckily I caught it because what I think would happen if I continued to use this stand is it would eventually burn right through the finish. I can tell you there are a couple points in the finish where as I was cleaning the guitar with a dry rag and just hoping that I could get this whatever it was off the guitar, there's something different about the finish now. I've gotten most of the surface discoloration off of the back of the guitar, but there are parts of the finish where it's it's wearing, it's got a weird foggy kind of look to it. And uh, unfortunately, I think that is permanent. Now, luckily it's on the back of the guitar. It doesn't affect the playability at all. I have nicks and dings, and there's imperfections in this finish, even from the factory. And that's just how it is. It's a thinner finish. It's it's There's a reason why they use that finish on these guitars. It you know, it can affect the tone and actually give you more sustain. And, you know, it's subtle, but it's it does make a difference. There's a reason why some of those magical vintage instruments have those characteristics and qualities, and the finish is part of it. So they tried to retain that with this. So it's, again, it's, it's not damaging the guitar in any way for playability. Luckily, it's on the back of the guitar. It's not on the front. But the permanent damage, you can't really see in a photo or a video. But uh, it's there, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately but I learned this I learned and I'm telling you if you have a guitar that is finished in nitro please please be careful what kind of stand you put it on for any length of time if it's an extended period of time especially so the stand that this thing is normally on is this string swing rack over here I don't know if you could see it behind me it's got a hat on one of the guitars and supposedly string swing has taken this into account there are companies that make stands specifically out of materials that will not damage nitro finished guitars so there you go i didn't know you might have already known this if you knew this please put it in the comments below if this is news to you please tell me it is a scary feeling when you pick up a guitar that is just sitting there and all of a sudden you're looking at a chemical reaction that's happening on the back of your guitar and you don't know how it started why it started it's it's disheartening to say the least. But like I said, luckily, I think I caught it in time. I got most of it off. Uh, there you have it. How I almost ruined my Silver Sky and did leave some permanent damage. Uh, again, cosmetic, but listen, I mean, you know, I'm good with, with pick marks. I'm good with dings and scratches and fret wear and, and everything else that happens to a guitar because they truly are meant to be played. They're not meant to be looked at play them that's how i feel about them you know that's what they're there for and i mean this guitar is a joy to play yeah it's fun to look at but it's it's a joy to play but something like this uh that is not as a result of me playing the guitar it's as a result of it just sitting on a stand uh that's tough to deal with i mean i've got tons more videos planned this was an unscheduled video i just wanted to throw it out there just in case somebody is listening has a nitro guitar and didn't know this like me so stay tuned if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel and you're watching these videos please take a second and consider subscribing i would sincerely appreciate it it helps me so much also like my videos dislike my videos comment share them i appreciate all those things more than you know and if you are not done on your phone scrolling through YouTube, or if you happen to be watching on a smart TV or computer and you want to continue exploring what I have to say about music and guitars, please continue with these videos right here.